with the new announcement of Magical Sanctum I had regained my love for my singing monsters. This game was not just an ad, it was an experience. My Singing Monsters has great content, a colorful cast of monsters, spectacular music tracks, and more interesting game mechanics than Raid Shadow Legends or AFK Arena has in store. No other game can copy what My Singing Monsters has achieved and is still holding strong even after the golden era of mobile game apps had reached its end. Its biggest updates however consisted of new elemental islands known as the Magicals. The Magical Islands were the first breedable non-natural elements that could be bred with natural monsters to create freshly new monsters with even better designs. But some Magical Islands fall shorter than others, so in honor of Magical Sanctum upcoming release later this month. Here is the ranking of my singing monsters, Magical Islands ranked from worst to best. Many of the My Singing Monster fans can agree with me on this choice. Though I still like Light Island, it doesn't compete towards the others. While the other three are mostly energetic, Light Island seems to tackle a lullaby, which makes sense cause this island makes me want to fall asleep. The monsters on Light Island had the most missed potential for designs. Floris and Gob are good in design, as well as Spitrup and Tutu, but Jesus did they run out of ideas with Fiddlement and Bloat, and they messed up big time with Pluck Bill's design. Not only are the monsters bland in design, the song is also very repetitive. Kana's dum diddly dum dum keeps going for the whole song which gets really annoying and makes you want to mute her. Same goes for Floa, Bostus, Mammoth, and Potbelly. In conclusion, Light Island is the weaker of the four islands and is mainly just a soothing song that I can respect. But it loses points for being repetitive and sleep inducing. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Fairy Island. Fairy Island is an interesting island, being a fairy themed island where all the monsters are designed after colorful and mystical fairy tale creatures. Bridget being based on a troll who lives under a bridge while Cantoral is based on the mystical mushrooms from enchanted forests. The island's song is pretty good too, though it did take a while to grow on me while one of the other two islands caught to my mind Lickety Split. But like Light Island, Fairy Island is pretty repetitive as well, but it's not as annoying since the more monsters join in later in the song for a more impactful beat. Overall Fairy Island is a good island but I find two others better than this. The Psychic Island is the OG Magical Island, and it was a huge point in my singing monsters since they are making new monsters with fresh new designs and unique sounds. The Psychic Monsters are all great designs, from the mind being my favorite and looking like a elven Frankenstein, bonkers Cheeto-like design, and Poppet's bubblegum texture. The song is pretty short but it makes up for it with great percussions and amazing vocals. They all sounds amazing and was a great way to kick off the Magical Island craze of 2019. But it's not number one, it just barely misses in being my favorite Magical Island, and I think we all know what the last island is so let's get right into it. And 
here we are, at the home stretch and in my opinion the best magical island. Bone Island is an amazing island with both an amazing cast of magical bone monsters and one of the best song in all of my singing monsters. This may be a hot take but it's what I feel. All of the instruments make for one thematic song with an epic tune with amazing build up. Thrumble really makes the first part of the song accompanied by Tojama and Pekidna. With a dentious and banjo really make the climax part of the song. They really work amazing. God this island does so much right it's just something I can't explain. Bone Island is very thematic and the whole design of the island is great. I just hope Magical Sanctum is somewhat like this. But this is the magic of the magical islands. They are fresh. They are amazingly creative. Even the worst ones like Light Island can be even put a smile to my face when I listen to them. None of these islands are garbage tier worst, but they aren't the best. And they don't have to be, they are special in their own ways, and that's why we enjoy them. This has been my list on the My Singing Monsters Magical Islands Worst to Best. Thanks for watching this video and joining me for the ride. Thank you and goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.